I'm a fish ecologist, which means that I'm interested in how fish operate in the world. The spring systems are the most vulnerable to major disruptions. So there are three main spring groups throughout the Lake Eyre Basin. There's what we call the Barcaldon group in the east, the Springvale group in the middle, and then the Mulligan group in the west. That's where we should concentrate our efforts in, in trying to rehabilitate and hang on to those populations in, in these really interesting little spring complexes. For me, the main threats to the rivers are actually feral animals that get into them. So, for example, at, at this spring complex where I work uh, uh, up at Edgebaston, which is northeast of Aramac, which has been bought by Bush Heritage, and that's where we've got these last populations of a small fish called redfin blue eye. So these little fish only get to about three centimetres long. They've evolved in these, in these little spring pools, so they only live there. Um, and then they're being invaded by that invasive species Gambusia. What we're trying to do there is relocate some populations of redfin blue eye to some safe areas and then simultaneously try and actually get rid of Gambusia using a few different methods. Hopefully we'll get there in the end or at least get to a point where maybe that species, you know, has a, has a better chance of not going extinct. There's a fish called a sleepy cod which was introduced well, we're not really sure how it got into the rivers out here. Somebody put them in there. If you've got a big hungry fish like that living in these waterholes and doing well, that it, it could actually also cause local trouble for native species. And of course we've got red claw all over the place and they're not native to the basin either. I've noticed it even in the last seven years, you know, you get a lot more tourists every year. If you've got a hundred people camped on a waterhole who don't know that it's not a really smart idea to use imported goldfish as bait, then you're going to have ecological problems down the track. And I mean, I've written a book about it, a very good book called Desert Fishing Lessons, actually. I think the most important thing that we can do here is to not let the Lake Eyre Basin degrade and become a messy problem like the Murray-Darling Basin has become. Because the Lake Eyre Basin is already in good ecological condition, we've got an ideal starting point uh, to not let that happen. <laughs>